Now then guys, how are you doing? Back on the road again, and today, me and Cameron, we're out in the countryside, basking in this beautiful sunshine, in my eyeballs, I might add. Right? We're going to a place in Gainsborough, and in Upton in Gainsborough, and it's called Up Upton Fisheries, right? Upton Fish and Chip Shop. Now it's special, because it has been around a long, long time, good old 40 odd years, and it is powered by coal, so it's got coal. Coal, coal powered fryers now it might be that's why we're out in the country they might not have got no uh, gas or electric plumbed in i don't know but you know coal powered fish and chips coal coal powered fryers what's all that about uh, is it, does that mean it's going to taste the coal is it going to be like some uh, what is it steam engine man <coughs> shovel it coal in it's going on for fish so let's go let's try these fish and chips that is powered by a coal powered uh, fryer let's go Come on, I'm a bit confused. We're going through the countryside. There's corn on this side, and this side, look, there's airports, aeroplanes. We're literally just driving through the middle of an airport in the countryside. There's some old bloke here in his shorts and his sun hat. I haven't got a clue what is going on. I didn't even know this place existed, so private choppers here look private planes. Eh? It's like what you see out at James Bond film, and it gonna have told jaws on side, <laughs> trying to get you. So it's saying, with a minute off, Stirgate Airport. St oh, so it, 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 it's a little light aircraft bit looks of it. I wonder if they'll teach me how to fly. I bet those planes won't get off the ground with me. <laughs> but like some of the stuff at Flintstones, I just I keep running. It'd be like a paraglider. It, 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 unless we've put wrong postcode in it, it's, it's a bit out in sticks this. I hope they get a lot of people travelling. No wonder they're only open a few days a week. They are, they're only open a few days a week. And I wonder if that's why. I wonder if it's like, look, we're only going to open Friday, Saturdays, whatever it is, because we don't get that many, you know, it's only the village Fishy Friday. A lot of people have Fishy Fridays, don't they? So what's this here? Church. There's a lot going on at wherever. I bet this is cute for fish and chips. <laughs> but it is. Oh, it is. It is, you know. Oh, my days. It is. People are queuing. It's like a coal shed. Oh, my. This is going to be good. Right, let's get down here. What's that? I don't want to park here, come on. We're going to walk over. Because I think we're going to be studying kill for a bit here. I can't believe it. It's like it's like somebody's back shed, serving fish and chips. And I, I was joking when I said all these cars are going to be parked up for that, but they're not. Right, let's go. Let's see what's going on in uh, old Upton Fish and Chip Shop. Whoa! I told you we should have got here earlier. What's all this about? Like a little table and two teacups in a phone box. Right, get this sorted out, cameraman. We're off for a fishy. On a little dishy. Locals here, fish and chips in box. Sat down, look. Oh, look at that, lovely. Have it together. Right, let's go. Let's get down here. Let's see what's going on. Told Upton. Oh. -ho. Oh my days. This, this could take a while, this guy's. Be a long time before we're getting out from here. Everybody's pulling up, eating the dinner. Having it good. How is it, guys? Is it nice? Is it? How long do you have to wait? Oh, yeah. Well, could be hour and a half, cameraman. Couldn't it? <laughs> Let's get to it back here. There we go. Right, I'll join you guys. Alright, well, we'll see you in a bit once we get down this kill. Well, I've got further down kill, talking to people as we get along, and these are all new here, aren't you? Yeah? Yeah. First time, yeah. time she's going to do fish and chips, <laughs> but she said today she's going to treat herself, uh, and then tomorrow she's going back to Lettuce Light Love. Yeah. Yep, there you go. So, all you at work, don't have a go at her. She has tried to stick to it, but it's his fault. <laughs> Date night, and he did not bring a table and chair. She's going to have to sit on grass and get a bum wet. So it's been around this place since 1948. Oh, when were I born? 19, uh, one, a lot, lot later than 1948. But it says on here, one of the last remaining coal-fired fish and chip shops 
in the actual world, not in just in the UK, in the world. So there you go. Yeah. Cod and addict, cooked in beef dripping, the old fashioned way, the proper way. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I'm dribbling. I'm dribbling from the dripping. Right, Buck's just saying shh, shh. Then it kills him, shh. So we're going into the bus stop now, so we're going to queue here. And then we're nearly in. Look at this. Up to Chippy. Please not, please do not obstruct neighbouring driveways. Pastry Eagle, look. Chippy that time forgot. There you go. Smell the coal. You can smell it, so it's burning now and it's powering up the fryers, getting the, getting the oil hot and they're about to chuck in my jumbo fish. You've just got to wait a little bit until it reaches temperature and then we're in. But I'll tell you something, the mix of beef dripping and then coil, oof, that's a weird smell I never thought I'd smell, but I'm looking forward to tasting it. Come in, we're open. So let me tell you guys, if you're planning on coming down here, you know, first of all, you're waiting, right, because it's coal-fired fryer. It smells amazing, so it is going to be worth the wait just by the smell, I reckon. So, oh, I'm looking forward to this. So we've been here now probably about 35 minutes. And I can see a kind of pop I'm having. Oh, oh. I love you, alright? How are we doing? Alright, So, one, two, three, is it? I, want a, I just want a jumbo. Yeah, do you want jumbo and chips? Yes, please, love. Uh, wrapped up or open? Uh, can I have it wrapped up, plenty of salt and vinegar? And then, have we got any, have we got all else? Is there any sausages at all? Is all yeah. No, they're all gone. Yeah. I'll, I'll just have the fish and chips, and then can I have some? Uh, I'll have a peas and a curry, please. And then can I also get a dandelion and burdock, please, love. Oh, look at this. Plenty of salt and vinegar. It's red hot in here, isn't it? With that. Yeah, uh, uh, I bet it was. Oh. So how old is this, this counter here then? How, how old, how old is, it? is it, yeah? 47. Is, is that the original one? Yeah. Oh my days. I can remember it being put in. Can you? Yeah. You don't look old enough. Pardon? You don't look old enough. I am. Right, one jumbo and chips. Thank you. Can I pay on card, love, please? Well, thank you. What was it done it? Nope. Try it again. There you go. There you go. Is that it? That's it. Thank you very much. Thank right, I'll grab these. I'll grab my can of pop, get it in my pocket. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. Take care. Oh. How are you doing, love? <laughs> yeah, hi. He's got my yeah, fish and chips. All these years I've been bloody watching you where I've been. I thought I'll never ever bump into and it. Then I, and then I'm walking out of here with fish and chips. There you go. I'm going to try it now. Is, do you come, well, out, least... do you come here often then? Yes. Yeah, is it good? Is it the best Marvellous. one? Marvellous. It yeah. depends what you've got. I've got jumbo. Uh, I thought you'd have had whale. What do you mean whale? Why they do a bigger one? Mm. Whale on door. That's what I've got. Jumbo oh, big and... jumbo. Like yeah, I've, I've got big and that's what I'm thinking. As big as that, you wouldn't <laughs> lift it. Woo. <laughs> I thought, I thought I've got jumbo. Two chairs. Isn't it? I've got it's my table and chair. I know. <laughs> right, where are we going, cameraman? Just here. Oh, let me get this out. Look, you're telling me. Get here, get here. Let me get my table out first, and then I can put my fish and chips on top. Oh, oh lovely. Cheers, mate. No worries, kid. I can see you're going to drop your jumbo. I am. Oh, right, there we go. That's let me it. Get seat as well. Look yeah. at this. Eh? Get, get me sorted out today. Sorted out. There, you there you go, thank you very much. Right, I'll push that bit because if you push it too far back, I'm going to be on my back. I haven't, even got, be I haven't even got a. Wait a second. 
I wonder what they were doing then, I anyway. <laughs> think it was a part of a shotgun. <laughs> Thank you very much, mate. Right, here we go. So, first of all, on the menu, it's fish, chips, and you can get a little sausage if they've got one. So, and I didn't have none left, so let's just sit down here. Well, well at least that's lasted. Right, here we go. Before we get started, I'm absolutely red hot, it's red hot in there. How they are working in there, well, that is beyond me. So, 40, 40 years this place has been around. It's the original fryer. So basically all I've got, this is probably going to be a nice little quick review because I've just got fish and chips. And they're only dual peas and curry. That is it. There were no sausages left. The dual fish and chips. There's no mucking about doing out else. Fritters are out. As you can see, oh, I worried, I worried that there wasn't going to be any forks in here. But oh, look at that. So I've asked for plenty of salt and vinegar. I love it when you get it on batter there and it's nice and soft. This is what happens when you've got beef dripping. It just makes the batter nice and soggy as soon as that vinegar gets it and I absolutely love it. So this is the jumbo. So this has cost me with, with that as well and I can of put 15 quid, £15.20. Right, which is this DNA for fish and chips, ain't bad. So dandelion and burdock, staple can of pot to have. Oh, let me wet the whistle first because by heck, I need this. Right, here we go. Let me show you this big whopper first. So we have got a massive piece of haddock here. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to get into it in a minute, but got chips there. Let's get these out. See what we've got. Hey, up this little fella. Get him off. Bit of curry. I hope that smells like a spicy curry, to be fair. Peas. If I'm honest with you, I'm just a bit taken away with what it's like in there. It's like walking back to uh, into into 1940s or something like that. It's absolutely crazy. Never seen it like it in my life. What's with peas? Seasoned peas up as well, yeah. Bit of pepper in peas. Whoa. That just smells like a chicken curry. <laughs> right. Let's have a look at this fish. Let's just break, break into it. Oh my days, oh my days, look at that guys, big white flakes of haddock, you've got that nice batter on there, it was nice and crisp but I like loads of vinegar on mine, so it has gone a bit soggy, but let's try the batter first. Oh. Wow, here we go. You don't see that very often an organised man, do you? <laughs> Yeah, all right, love. <laughs> I'll always say nice things, love, when the food's this good. That is just one beautiful piece of addict. That is cooked to perfection. That batter. Absolutely gorgeous. It is just, let's see if we can get a bit. So, and we've got skin on as well with fish, which is nice, some people like that. But look at that, as you pull it away, look at that fish just flaking off. Now, if you remember a while back, I've not tried the chips yet, but I said to you that I'd saved the best fish and chip shop because it would have won near me. I didn't rate it, so let's just try these chips before I say this. Oh, they look good. Oh my god. You can't get two foot fish. It's massive. Let's fold it over. Right, look at this. Again, I've said this before. I love it when you go to a proper fish and chip shop because you've got what I call scruffy chips. There's, they're not uniform, they're not the same size. All different sizes. There is no... Sorry mate. There is no better way to have fish and chips than it cooked in beef dripping, in my opinion. You know, you go for vegetable oil, you're just losing so much flavour. This is absolutely bang on. The chips are soft, they've got a nice crisp to them, they've got a beautiful taste with that beef dripping. The fish, the batter is beautiful. The actual haddock is phenomenal, is that? That is just absolutely bang on. Right, let's get a few peas on. The peas look. As you can see, look, look at the black bits in peas. It's like bits of pepper. I've seasoned it up. It's like a la carte peas here. 
have a go at this. Bit of addict with bees on. Like juggling, one hand. Oh. And this is it. What you find is you go to some of these fish and chip shops and they, you know, they do, they do what it says on the tin. So they'll just put the peas in. These guys, they're adding a bit more flavour to it. They're adding a bit of that experience of evolving with the times, people's taste buds. They're changing them up a little bit. They're giving it a bit more pizzazz. I'm looking forward to trying this curry because this, oh my days, looks like a bolty. Look at it. I've never had curry like that from a fish and chip shop in my life. Right. I am telling you now, that's like some kind of bolty sauce, that. That's some kind of bolty curry sauce. That ain't no normal curry sauce that you get from a fish shop. Again. This is what's making it special. Wow. Right. So I've come here, I've killed. I can't believe how it's cooked in, in, in those fryers in there, still with coal. You know, you, you're having to, to take the fish out, the temperature drops, they're putting the coal into it, the temperature back up. So it's a lot of work involved to get it going. And to produce something that good is absolutely amazing. What I was saying to you was, is that I've said before that I saved the one that I did in Morley because that was my favorite. I'm gonna be honest with you now, that's blown me away. That, that is better, that is the best fish and chips I've ever had in my life. And I'm not saying that because of the kelp, I'm just saying the flavor, the actual fillet, the you. chips. Oh mate, it's absolutely lovely. These guys, I know they're busy, but they need to be opening longer because people are gonna be wanting to come here and try this. So guys, if you've been here to open some fish shop, let me know what you think. If you've not been, come down and try it out. But this is one of the easiest tens i've ever given especially for fish and chips this is my number one right now for fish and chips i'll see you next time i'm cracking on with this what a piece of fish what a piece of fish oh my god oh my days you don't get more authentic than that i'm wrapping it up right and the soot up table because it's it's the the ambers that's coming from the coal fire that are just dropping down or stuck to paper